Wham! Pow! Kabam! This is the review of Maple Woods Zip Zap. Today, Maple Woods Zip Zap. It yum, is yum, yum. a wheat. And the one thing that Maple Wood does very well is they put pretty much everything you could possibly need to know right on the side of the can. What it has in here is it's got all its grains, it's got all the hops, then it has all the vitals. The and vitals. Four SRM, 20 IBUs, 5.5% ABV. For grains, it has Pilsner, Hoyt, Wheat and aromatic, and then for hops it's Citra, Eldorado, and Warrior. And we should also mention this is an extra pale wheat ale. We don't get to use our wheat classes that much. I'm pretty excited about this. Well, or I like filled it up perfect. Four fingers. I filled it up perfect. We did. I'm very proud of you. So let's get to looking at it. It's got this nice golden color, really pretty. It's very, it's, it has a gradient to it. Yeah. It's like light and more and clear at the bottom. And then as it comes up, tapers up, it's more orange. Obviously the head, ivory color, nice tight bubbles. It's a, a slightly, yeah, there's like a little bit of a yellowish hue to it. So let's just get right into sniffing. It smells weedy, citrusy. Really citrusy. Probably from the citra hops. But a touch of pineapple. A little tropical. <sighs> I'm gonna hit the spot. Today is a scorcher. Yes, and we spent most of the day without <clears throat> air conditioning, so we were a little grumpy. And I think I may have forgotten to mention this, but it was canned in April, and so it's the middle of June. It's a wheat. So I'm, not, I'm not overly worried about it, but I know some of you people care quite a bit, so I'm gonna give you the info. I think we should just drink it. Prost. Oh. Son of a... Mm. That is glorious. On a day like today, this is just everything you need in your life. It's more tropical in the taste than I thought it was going to be. That has to be some of the, El that's gotta be the Eldorado then. Mm -hmm. I mean, the okay. citra, the citra's still there. Citra, yeah. And it's supposed to be a, like a hoppy wheat, but it's, the hop presence isn't overpowering. Like you can still really taste that it's a wheat. <clears throat> but I, I mean, it is something different in the mm -hmm. fact that it's a hoppy wheat. You can taste the hop presence. But without it being too much. It's got a sharpness to it. It's kind of going into the mouthfeel, I guess, a little bit yes. idle, but there's a Let's definite sharpness to it. Nice light mouthfeel. Finish is a little bitter. I agree with this. Ooh, we're agreeing on everything today. That's the worst. Where's the argument? Mm. It is quite carbonated. But not in the same way that like a Heffa is. No, but it's a good bourbon beer. It's got big bubbles. It's not, you know, like a Heffa's got real small and compact and so like almost kind of creamy like a nitro would be. Not, mm. not like a nitro, but similar. This isn't like that. This is like yeah. a deep bubble. Deep bubble, new band name called it. Yes! I think it just might be time for some ratings! Ratings! Um, I really should think about it before we even Dance get story filming. time. It's just square, it's just normal. It's just good. It's not great. It's silver. Like silver. The, hop, the hoppiness is cool and it's still refreshing on a hot day. But you know what? I probably won't go out of my way to get this again unless I'm having like a flashback or something. And I'm like, remember that one time where I had Zip Zap and it was hot and our AC broke? Gold! I am really enjoying this. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little biased right now because it is hot um, and this is just really hitting the spot, but I like the hoppiness to it. We all know I love me some hops. So the fact that this is a hoppy wheat, you just can't go wrong. It's everything you need. Seems like an emerging style to me. Hoppy, well, everything. Maybe not hoppy wheat, but like hoppy lager, hoppy pilsner, hoppy wheat, hoppy cream ale, hoppy hoppy stout. God, please don't do that. <laughs> it's a Chicago yeah, we should have mentioned that Maplewood from Chicago. They have another yeah. couple other good ones. Fat um, hug, brownie points. Brownie points. If you see brownie points, that's like a brown ale. It's a brown ale with vanilla. What's that other one? They do? A Son of Juice, their IPA. If you haven't, you should probably subscribe to our channel. There's like a little button down there that you can push. There's also another little like bell thingy dingling that you can push so you can get notified whenever we post new content, usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but you never know. Until next time, we're Till Beard Goes Bart. Bye! Over. I just like these glasses. I wish I could yeah. use these glasses more. They're very, very curvy. I like the curves. Call me fat. You have curves. I do have curves, mostly in, in the in the bottom region that you cannot see. At the bottom jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. Oh, that's how it's the point. Next thing you know, shorty got low, 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 low.